Today's meditation is meeting with the goddesses who are going to encourage your animal power guides to make themselves known to you. So before we begin, I'd like you to get yourself comfortable. Close your eyes and take a deep breath to help you relax. Now we're going to work through your body. Be aware of any tension in your face, around your eyes, around your mouth, and encourage your face to completely relax. Let go of any tension in your shoulders and neck. Be aware of your arms becoming heavy and allow them to relax right the way down to your fingertips. Sense your breathing helping you to become calm and to relax even more. So your chest with your breathing releases any tightness in the muscles. Your tummy, allow that to soften so that relaxes. Now be aware of your legs. Allow your legs to become heavy as they completely relax. Let go of any tension in your calves, your ankles and feet. Now focus on the area underneath your feet and this is where roots are going to emerge and these imaginary roots are going to help you relax even more by them connecting to Mother Earth. Your imaginary roots now emerge and they push through the floor into the soil underneath, going deeper and deeper, down and down into Mother Earth, making their way through the different layers, through the gravel, the sand, the clay, going deeper and deeper. And every time they reach a rock or a boulder, they wrap themselves around and continue on their journey deep into Mother Earth. And your roots now, as they reach the Earth's core, the Earth's centre, they push and make their way through the golden energy of Mother Earth. And this golden protective energy, your roots are going to draw this up and bring this up back to you. So your roots now draw this energy closer and closer over and around in your boulders, get nearer and nearer, making their way through the clay, the sand, the gravel, and all the different layers of the earth, all the way up through the soil and then through the floor into your feet. Be aware of the sensation of this protective gold energy trickling into your toes, it's drawn up your ankles, into your calves. into your knees, drawn up higher still, into your thighs, and then into your tummy. Be aware of this gold energy filling all of your tummy, filling your solar plexus with this protective gold energy. It then spreads out further, up into your chest, 
And then with every beat of your heart, this gold energy spreads out further up to your shoulders, cascading down your arms into your fingers. And then higher still, up to your throat, up to your mind. So every cell of your body is filled with this protective golden energy of Mother Earth. And your lungs spread out this energy into your auric field, creating a perfect, solid bubble of protection all over you, all around you, and under your feet. So now I'm going to take you on a journey. Imagine you see before you a gentle sloping hill. And it's a warm summer's day with blue sky all around you. You look down and you see a path that leads you towards the hill. I want you to start to walk up the hill and notice the sun warm on your back. Notice the gentle breeze. And you can smell the wild flowers that either side of the path. You're nearing the top of the hill now and you notice there are some ancient stones. And within the circle of stones, as you get closer, you notice four beautiful ladies, all dressed in white with shimmering dresses. And each lady has a halo of beautiful wild flowers in their hair. As you get closer, the older of the ladies notices you and she breaks away from the others to walk across to greet you. And she tells you that her name is Goddess Athena. And you notice her wise owl on her shoulder. And the wise owl has white silvery feathers and sapphire blue eyes. Athena invites you to come and meet the others. And the other goddesses see you approach and they smile. And they step aside and you notice that they've been dancing around a flat stone within the circle of the ancient monument and on this stone has lavender sprinkled on it. Athena invites you to sit down on the stone and you notice the warmth and comfort it gives you and you wear the perfume of the lavender surrounding you. Another of the goddesses now steps forward and it's Artemis. And she then bends and says hello. And she then looks over her shoulder and you glance to see where she's looking. And you can see her protective walls who are on the edge of the ancient monument. And she invites them to come into the circle and for them to greet you and they allow you to stroke them and you wear the softness of their fur. Goddess Artemis now invites other animals to step forward into the circle and joining you is a deer, some foxes, more wolves, there may even be bears, a couple of cheeky rabbits, horses, and even sheep and cows. And flying overhead, high above, you see eagles and buzzards. And you wear of a little robin flying to you, and he cheekily sits on your knee. 
These are power animals who until now have remained quiet and secret from human contact. The animals settle because they know that you are a friend and you mean them no harm. Now another goddess steps forward and this is goddess Isis and you notice she's dressed in Egyptian clothing. She places her hand gently on your head and you feel the cool tingling sensation as she illuminates your mind. Images flash before you as she gives you clarity on your life's purpose and career. She gives you hope that you're helping mankind in the work that you do. Listen to your intuitive mind. Isis, her work now is done. She silently steps backwards. And I'm going to leave you for a moment for you to listen to your intuition, listen to your mind and allow the thoughts to flow. Our goddess Athena takes the place again before you. She raises her right hand and within her palm a beam of golden light radiates out and connects to your third eye. Athena will give you spiritual wisdom so you're no longer afraid when life gives you difficult challenges. She will encourage you to always speak the truth and have courage when others doubt you. If in the future you need her motherly wisdom, summon her owl who will come to you and deliver a message back to his mistress. Athena is the mother goddess who will keep you safe. Listen to her wise words which she gives to you now. Goddess Athena is pleased to have listened to her wise words and hope her words give you courage. Athena smiles and turns to allow the last goddess to step forward. And this goddess is goddess Aphrodite, who's dressed in Greek robes and is very beautiful. And she comes towards you. And you notice within her hands a glowing ball of shimmering pink light. Goddess Aphrodite is the goddess of love. And she gives you the pink ray of love within this orb. And she gently places the orb into your love heart chakra, where you feel the love, the empowerment. Feel its warm glow as it radiates out into every cell of your body. Aphrodite looks deep into your eyes 
as she sends you unconditional love for yourself. Aphrodite smiles and silently steps away to join the other goddesses. It is now time for you to meet your individual animal guides and they will make themselves known to you so you will know which guides help you and were with you and remember they don't always show themselves to you so this is a privilege and they will give you a sign so you will know when they're around you and they will give you strength, love, direction and of course protection if you need it. I'm going to leave you now in the company of the goddesses and the animal guides until it's time for you to return.
it is now time for you to leave and you realise how much time you've been here because now it is nightfall and you notice that there is a full moon that's casting down a silvery glow on the ancient stones, on the goddesses and all your animals that are with you. Goddess Athena steps forward and she says for you to look at the moon and to remember the moon when it is full. Its power is very strong where you can make wishes but also you can make a stronger connection to the goddesses and ask for their help. So any time you see the full moon if you feel you need some guidance, any messages from the goddesses, look at the full moon and make your wishes known. It is now time for you to leave. You say goodbye to the goddesses and thank them for their help. You feel uplifted and happy and loved as you start to walk away from the circle of stones. Your animal guides follow beside you and they come back with you. You walk down the path and you notice as you reach the bottom of the gentle sloping hill, there is a white mist that surrounds you surrounds your animal guides and brings you back to the room, back to the here and now. Before you come round, I'd like you to feel the presence again in the here and now of your animal guides and know they will comfort you and they will support you and they are all around you, even though you're not always aware of them and you may not sense them or feel them or see them, but trust they are there with you. Be aware of your senses returning to normal. I want you to take a deep breath in. Push your feet on the floor. Wiggle your toes and fingers. And when you're ready, open your eyes. And remember a full moon, you can make your wishes and the goddesses will help in any way they can. And also remember your silent animal guides. They're around you because they want to be with you. They haven't been forced. They haven't been instructed. They haven't been ordered. They are with you because you are special, because they trust you. So take care and I'll speak to you soon.